sailing from Rangaroa to Tahiti, the adventure travelers, and the Pacific <laughs> Pedal Jump. Meeting our kids in Morea, <laughs> sea life, storms, and of course, almost dying. Video does not do this justice. This rain was just a small drizzle compared to what was coming. This was the first time we actually had to outrun storms and lightning. Mike is an incredible navigator, but it's taken a toll on both of us. Little bird just landed in our boat. There's always something to do, like splicing lines. Finally in Tahiti, after a grueling pass. Hey, Mikey. Really grueling. <laughs> Finally, after two long, hard days, we pulled into the marina at night, which we don't like to do. But we called ahead to the harbor master to get a slip. Time to breathe and find some local food trucks. After a passage, we always clean the boat to reset ourselves. The husbands here did the puddle jumps, and the wives flew to Tahiti. I, of course, didn't fly to meet Michael. I was all in. I put my big girl breeches on. We met an adorable couple who mentioned they needed a vest for their baby. So we gave them our baby vest. So Melissa and I are hiking Caldwana Valley, and uh, it's pretty. Look at that, and yeah, really pretty valley. You know you're in some crazy area when you gotta hike up stairs that look like that. We found a remote hike, go got our gear, and got the hell off the boat. Hello, Mikey. Here comes Adventure Traveler number two. It's pretty cool walking through here and just all these really cool areas. Can't tell, but this is the trail we're going up right now. Like Very vertical. Melissa couldn't make it up, because it's pretty treacherous, but that's what it looks like. All right, we're in uh, same place right by the stairs. Melissa's gonna sit this one out. Water's a little chilly, but at least it's clear. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm gonna try, oh geez, if I can't, I'll try to swim up here. Looks pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. It was so hot, but the water was so cold. And plus, I like to watch my feet. So this is one of those freshwater eels that I was just swimming. The annual Heva is in August, which is a cultural celebration of dance and traditions. Other islands compete, and it was truly magnificent. I was personally invited to a Tahitian dance class with professionals. Hey, they're used to doing this with their hips. Finally, our kids arrived from college and spent the next week with us. We hadn't seen them in six months. 
We can't even express to you the sheer joy we had by having our kids right there with us and experiencing French Polynesia, something you just can't get out of a textbook. There was only one air conditioner, so they promptly moved the beds. So how do you immerse your loved ones into the island life? Finding actual sea life is so much better than anything phony. I created jewelry from red coral seeds found on the island, and yes, Kayla and William helped to collect them free of charge. Professional, non-professionals. Finally, the day to celebrate crossing the Pacific Ocean with about 60 other sailboats and catamarans. Our local paper in San Diego wrote a story about our adventure. Maria welcomes every year the Pacific Pedal Jumpers. And we got I'm to get our here. hips on. The celebration <laughs> continues. There you go, shake that booty, girl. This was our family highlight. We all agreed on getting a tattoo of a sea turtle. I went first. This was the first time this tattoo artist, Tama Tattoo by Herbert, had tattooed an entire family of the same tattoo. From then on, on the island, we were known as the turtle family. Ugh, our sail back to Tahiti was a bit barfy for the kids. <laughs> A little bit of wind, it's uh, blowing 21 knots, and it's a little, little bumpy for the fam. We're doing a lot better now. We were heading straight into the waves. Where's my hand? We were heading straight into the waves, and that was uh, a little challenging because we were beating into the waves, but um, now we're going side. You know, a beam of the waves, it's a little better. But 
Got to hand it to my kids. They're troopers. They're doing great. And just like that, they were gone. Back to college. Like we always say, travel is high high and low lows. But it's all about living in the moment and looking forward to the unknown. Join our journey. We know you have questions and comments. The Adventure Travelers.